When you walk in, it's a six level building. It's round at the bottom, but in the front is like this three dimensional looking diamond. And it's all glass in case, windows in case. Uh, a lot of cool stuff set up down on the bottom level as soon as you go down the escalator. Um, Alex Van Halen's drum kit from the 1980 tour. Um, they had Rage Against the Machines touring band from, that they used between 91 and 93. Uh, Tom Morello had actually used that same band when he packed up all this stuff when he lived in uh, Jersey, I believe, and drove all the way out to California to pretty much you know, start his new life and uh, start the band. That we were there for like over two hours just touring the lower level. I mean, there's props from concerts all over the place, and I can't even explain it all. I was late last night, I was trying to think of how I could talk about this video and explain it to people um, who haven't gone and who might not be able to go. I tried to keep a cool head when I showed up, said hi to everybody, keep cool. Then once I went down the escalator and just hit the first level, was, I, just could, I just got excited and, and just started talking about artists and tours and music. And, it was a really, really cool experience. Uh, according to Maggie, I guess Corey and I were just glad about history and stuff. Uh, and listening to Corey and Eli narrate and talk, you know, teach us or teach me. You know, I didn't mean for it to sound like I was a know-it-all about everything. It's just how I get it. I'm like a kid in the candy store with all that stuff. And I'm the kind of person that's into all that minutia. And, the history of things and you know just like oh my god that was you know something they played on this actual album or you know, the costume they wore and, you know the historical to it just being able to see that thing in person just I don't know it it awes me I, I don't know how many times I kept saying like this is crazy this is crazy and we would only get like in one little room and it'd be an hour later like we just we're just looking so much and talking. Um, but the Beatles wall, I mean, we must have stood there for at least 30 minutes alone. And John Lennon's glasses were, were, were sitting there, and that, that was kind of, uh, kind of shocking in a way. And then the Allman Brothers were right next to that. And then you go up and they had Michael Jackson, his glove, and outfits from when Jackson 5. You know, I don't have one favorite thing out of the whole museum that really stood out to me. It was the fact of being surrounded by everything, being immersed in it, and uh, just being so close to so much history and culture and roots, rock and roll, and just to be surrounded by that and to be surrounded by friends. I mean, there's so much. We could stand there for 30 minutes and then look and then see something new that was in this case, and then it was like these big windows. It was just like certain amount of whether it was clothing or handwritten letters or um, guitars or stuff like that. Hendrix. Jimmy Hendrix, he was an amazing artist. I loved all his drawings. As many pictures as we took, we still could have took a thousand more. Most of this tour we were enjoying ourselves and enjoying the things that we were seeing. You know, a really strange thing happened on the way home from the Rock Hall that evening. Um, I had handed, you know, randomly while we were headed home, I randomly handed my cell phone over to my wife and said, check out some of the pictures. And she was flipping through the pictures, and I had a little, I had a CD playing, and uh, kind of like a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame mix. But the very second that she flipped the picture over to the first Jimi Hendrix uh, drawing when he was a kid, the very first note of all, all, all Along the Watchtower began to play. And I just got chills from my spine, you know, all the way to my head. It was, uh, it was pretty cool. So maybe some of the ghosts followed us on the way home. I just want to say um, you know, to Corey, Maggie, Lindsay, Jeremy, um, thanks for coming out. You know, I'm glad everyone stuck to the plan and made it out. Uh, it was totally cool meeting with all you guys and um, interacting in person instead of just over text messages and videos. And, uh, it definitely brings a whole other like area to the BC. We went up to the third level and uh, there's this huge Pink Floyd wall prop and there's a big artsy thing in the rides and I think you'll see pictures of that in the video that Corey will show. Thanks guys for showing up. Had a blast. I hope to do it again soon. Yeah, I just really hope people do, can get the chance to meet other VC members um, because it's so worth it.